2100 Pakistan Standard Time Assalamu alaikum This is Radio Pakistan The news read by Ali Ahmed First the headlines International Women's Day was observed today to raise awareness against gender bias and take action for equality In his message on this occasion Prime Minister has reiterated to undertake all possible efforts to ensure equal rights and opportunities to women. Addressing a ceremony in connection with Women's Day in Islamabad today, President said women are playing key role in all walks of life. Foreign Minister has urged the world community to take notice of gross human rights and religious rights violations of minorities, especially Muslims in India. Former Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh says current situation in India is very grim and state institutions of the country have failed to protect citizens. And in the 22nd match of Pakistan Super League, Multan Sultans beat Islamabad United by 9 wickets at Rawalpindi today, while match between Lahore Kalandas and Karachi Kings is in progress at Lahore. And now the news in detail. International Women's Day was observed today to raise awareness against gender bias and take action for equality. This year's theme of the day is I am Generation Equality, Realizing Women's Rights. Prime Minister Imran Khan has reiterated to undertake every possible effort to ensure equal rights and opportunities to the women. In a message in connection with International Women's Day today, he said it is indeed encouraging to see that Pakistani women are proving their mettle in every walk of life and achieving excellence in their respective fields at the national and international level. The Prime Minister said he firmly believes that inclusive and sustainable socio-economic development can only be ensured by providing equal opportunities and conducive environment to our women. President Dr. Arif Alvi says lap of mother is the first learning institution for a child in the family. Addressing a ceremony in connection with International Women's Day in Islamabad today, he said the role of women for the next generation is simply undisputable. The president said women are playing a key role in all walks of life. Addressing the ceremony, Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Poverty Alleviation, Dr. Sanya Nishtar said that the entire SR's agenda focuses on women and girls. She said 50% allocation are being ensured for women in SR's scholarship and loan program launched by the Prime Minister. In her address, Federal Ombudsperson for Protection Against Harassment of Women at the Workplaces, Kashmala Tariq, said both genders should collectively work to protect rights of each other with respect. Army Chief General Kamar Javed Bajwa has paid tribute to all women of Pakistan who played pivotal role in nation building in all segments of society. In a tweet he said all brave mothers, sisters, daughters, especially our martyrs' families and those serving in armed forces are pride for our nation. Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Pradas Archikavan, has said incumbent government is fully committed to ensure equal rights for women. Addressing to a public gathering in Sialkot today, she said for the first time, Prime Minister Imran Khan has highlighted the true image of Pakistan at international level. Pradas Archikavan said farmers are playing vital role in the national economy and is the top priority of the government to resolve their problems. The special assistant said Pakistani products are being introduced in the global markets due to the GSP plus status. She said that Pakistan is now being recognized as the best tourist destination after rooting out of terrorism from the country. Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Health, Dr. Zafar Mirza, has reiterated government's commitment to save the public from the coronavirus outbreak. He made these remarks during his surprise visit to Pakistan Institute of Medical Sciences in Islamabad this evening. He directed doctors and paramedical staff to strictly implement the SOPs in this regard. Dr. Zafar Mirza also visited the coronavirus-based isolation room 
and sets that separate rooms to prevent from coronavirus have been established in hospitals in the federal and provinces as well. He said that the government is working closely with provincial governments under the National Action Plan. Dr. Zafar Mirza said 289 suspected samples were tested, but only six of them were positive so far, and one of these patients has fully recovered. China will dispatch the first batch of supplies to Karachi tomorrow to assist Pakistan in controlling the locust disaster. The first batch to be dispatched will include 50,000 litres of pesticides and 14 air-powered high-efficiency remote sprayers. An expert group of China, which has already visited since Balochistan and Punjab provinces, has said in the current large-scale outbreak of the locust disaster in Pakistan, the spraying of chemical pesticides and biological pesticides is more conducive. The experts say that locusts would be eradicated in Balochistan during the next few weeks. This is Radio Pakistan. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has urged the world community to take notice of gross human and religious rights violations of minorities, especially Muslims in India. Talking to media in Multan today, he said the way ordinary Muslims were targeted and their properties ransacked and arsoned in New Delhi, while the police remained inactive, is a dangerous beginning which, if not checked out, could engulf the whole of the India. He said attacks were also being held against the Christians and other minorities in India as well. Former Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh has called for withdrawal of the Controversial Citizenship Amendment Act. In this article in the Indian newspaper The Hindu, Manmohan Singh said India has slid from a liberal democracy to a majoritarian state and faces social disharmony and economic slowdown. Pointing out to the anti-Muslim violence in New Delhi last month, he said the current situation in India is very grim and morose, and state institutions failed to protect the citizens during the violence. Miseries and sufferings of the Kashmiri women at the hands of brutal Indian forces continue unabated in occupied Kashmir as the world is observing the International Women's Day today. According to a report released by the research section of Kashmir Media Service today, thousands of women are among 95,507 Kashmiris who were martyred by Indian forces since January 1989 till date, while 671 women were killed since January 2001 alone. The United Nations Assistant Mission in Afghanistan calls for inclusion of women in peace talks. The head of UN mission, Tadamichi Yamamoto, in a statement urged that the Afghan women should have access to education, health care and work facilities, and full representation in all areas of political decision-making, from parliament to the peace table, which is vital for a peaceful society. United Nations has strongly condemned Friday's deadly attack in Kabul and reiterates that attacks against civilians are unacceptable and those who carry out such crimes must be held accountable. The Secretary General Antonio Guterres said in a statement that United Nations stands with all Afghans in solidarity and remains committed to an Afghan lead peace process that will end the conflict. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has called on Greece to open its gates to migrants. During a televised speech in Istanbul today, he said that he would not stop people leaving Turkey to go to Europe. Erdogan said, I appeal to you to open the gates and let them go to the other European countries. In the 23rd match of Pakistan Super League at Lahore, chasing a victory target of 187 set by Karachi Kings, Lahore Kalandas were 3 for 1 overs, 1.3 overs a short while ago. Meanwhile, in the 22nd match of Pakistan Super League at Rawalpindi, Multan Sultans beat Islamabad United by 9 wickets today. Batting first, Islamabad United scored 91 runs for the loss of 7 wickets in allotted 9 overs. Multan Sultans achieved their target in 6.4 overs. The match was reduced to 9 overs for each team due to wet outfield. And finally, the weather. 
Dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk. And for live video streaming of our bulletins, visit the link facebook.com slash radiopakistan newsofficial.